Happy vlog week 43. Oh, I had to think about that there for a second. My hands are like, ooh, ooh. Today, my sister is going to go and get a piercing. So I'm going to go tag along with her. She's going to go get her tragus done, I think. I have no idea. I'm just here to be a support system. I'm going to vlog it for you guys. Her pain for your guys' pleasure. I've literally been breaking out so much because of wearing these masks. I don't know if you guys can see, but the spots are real. The piercing girl is after another piercing. No, guys, it's not the Panani. <laughs> not wash that today. <laughs> guys, I want a whole full stack of piercing all along my ears, like from here to there. So the first thing we're going to start off with this tray, guess, and then the other thing I'm considering, do I want to DIY it or am I willing to spend £20 per piercing? Because I want at least like five or six there. How much is that? £100? Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, we're doing DIY. And also she's going to get another professional to look at her little nose piercing because she keeps going on and on about her piercing it in the wrong place. Yeah, guys, it's too low, it's too low, it's touching my fucking lip. You know, that can get in the way of certain things, <laughs> of certain activities. <laughs> they might even enjoy it more, a little extra, extra dingleberry dangling there. <laughs> I think also, because it's hanging so low that it gets caught on all the bogeys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm getting a dafe done, which is this inner little rim here. I think this is going to be a, a painful motherfucker because it's going through quite thick, thick cartilage. It's going through two... Yeah. Oh, that's quick. Not paper at all. Oh, that's it. Has it gone through? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I like it. Cute. That's so quick. Oh. oh, that one was a paper. Oh, that was very straightforward. Okay, guys, we did it. <laughs> Let me show you how my cute piercing is going along. Yay! So yeah. she's gonna get one more, I think, up here, and then that should do her for now. Well, she's saying one more. I think I need at least three more there. He literally done it so quickly. I swear we were in there for like 10 minutes yeah. and two piercings were done already. The trachus wasn't painful whatsoever. The Dave one was more painful because I think it's thicker cartilage. And also because the ring had to hook around, she felt it go <laughs> scrape against the meat. <laughs> Hello, your girl has a bit of makeup on today. I honestly watched back my last vlog and I was like, bitch you look like an oily grease ball so I was like oh, I need to remind you that I'm a bad bitch I say remind you I'm really reminding myself when I'm watching this back you know remember to you're a bad bitch okay you can look cute when you want to so yesterday you guys saw that my sister had two new piercings and she's been going on and on about all these piercings she wants to do there she is there you are. There you are. Oh my god, I love these jeans. You like them? They're from Pretty Little Thing. Oh my god, they're so pretty. So, she's managed to persuade me to also get my Traegers done. So, we're going to get matching piercings today. Yes! Twee was like, adamant. She's like, oh, I, I don't heal well. I'm not going to get it done. So, I was like saying to her, oh, it's not painful. You saw yesterday, I didn't flinch whatsoever. It was just like, like that. We're gonna get it done. I'm so happy. And I managed to convince one of my other friends to get it done as well. So I want to get two conch. Is that called? Conch. So in the center. So when you wear a hoop like that, it looks so cute. And then I think this side, I'm gonna get a rook instead. So she wanted to get the helix done as well, which is the one up here, which I know if I ever got that done, that would be such a bitch to heal. Because even this one that I have is like so painful still. And I've done it so many months ago. But they say that it takes a year to heal. You know that, right? Well, it's been like two years now, it feels like. <laughs> that was quick. No pain? This one hurts a bit more than yesterday, I think. And I'm excited. I can't wait until it heals until I can change the jewellery. I'm going to have a little dime onto my ears when we fling out, guys. There we go. Oh, look a bit claustrophobic in there, <laughs> doesn't it? Wow, was that painful? Ooh, yes, I felt that. There she is, guys. We're doing the piercing. Mm -hmm. I'll do it at the bottom of that mark. Okay. Right. Oh, my days. Oh, that's it. Yeah, oh, my days. Is that painful? Yeah, that was painful. Oh, my God. It's like someone's clasping onto my ear. Oh, my God. It's like getting two piercings. Okay, yeah. Cute. Oh, my God. Oh, so cute. You are new to the family. We are done with our piercings. Can you guys believe this girl has spent, like, over 100 pounds on all her piercings the last two days? I know, a bit cray cray. I feel like they pierced the top of my jaw. It was saying it's so painful. I thought that that it wasn't was the... so painful, but it's definitely throbbing. It's not like it's not painful. You was acting like, oh, it doesn't hurt at all. Well, if you guys review the footage, I didn't flinch whatsoever. Mercury Retrograde is trying to play me. Oh, did you want to scream? 
Today when I was doing my makeup, I was like, oh, I hate this look. I hate my hair. And I just had to like keep pushing through, keep filming my TikToks, keep filming this Instagram video, even though I wanted to quit. I wanted to turn off the camera and just use a makeup wipe and just take it all off and curl into a ball. Look at this backdrop, guys. Can you see that? It's freaking sideways. I don't know what they was thinking, but they wanted us to film the video horizontally, but they sent the backdrop vertically. So the sides were all cut out. It was so weird, but I did it guys. I filmed my acceptance speech. It's so crazy to film something that you know you haven't even won, but you're just gonna film it just for the lulls, you know? We're actually gonna be going to Stratford now because for as long as I've ever known Grant, he's always said that he wanted a Rolex and he really, really wants to get one for his 30th birthday. Even though I don't agree with it and I don't think he should waste the money. You guys know that I'm not into designer things. I'm not into like, fancy jewelry or anything like that he likes those kind of things so i'm here to support him so we're gonna go all the way to westfield stratford and put his name down officially on the rolex waiting list and then later on i'm gonna go do my nails as well because look at this i've got one now standing and it won't come off and also can you guys see this now it literally looks like a hoof hoof of a donkey it is so painful it's like split in half and every single time I knock it, it's so sensitive. Also, I keep accidentally swiping my ear and it's so painful. It sends like a chill down my bum crack. Hello. I think you look pretty. Oh my I God, all so day ugly. she's been moaning and she looks ugly. It looks pretty. I hate this makeup look. Honestly, it took me so long. I'm like, it's not even worth it. If that's ugly, what's this? <laughs> So I said to Grang that he cannot get this watch unless we get a house. This watch that he wants is basically on like a waiting list. That could be like two weeks, it could be a month, it could be tomorrow, it could be two years. I feel so ugly, I feel like I wanna do a Britney Spears and just shave off all my hair. You know one of those moments where you're just like, why do I look like this? She's been doing this all day. I've been telling her she don't look ugly. She looks pretty. She said it about 10 times. And you know why? Because she's coming on her period. It's definitely coming. It's coming on full effect right now. I do feel very irritated. I feel like I could honestly like stamp on someone's head right now and love it. <laughs> and love it? It's so mean. <laughs> the PMS is so real. When will my hormones get back to normal? I was so close to telling Grant to turn around because I literally just wanted to go home. See how much I love you? Even though I don't want to leave the house, I have to leave the house for you. Okay, so we're at the Rolex counter in the Watches of Switzerland shop at Westfield. The watches here are so beautiful. So if you guys have never been to Sammy's shop before, you guys need to go if you're ever in Loughton. Look at the cute decor that she has going on. Like flower walls everywhere. And these are the nails that Sammy did for me. I think these are my favorite set that we've ever done. It's so pretty. It's like little butterflies and a little golden branch with some marble so nice and it's the first time i've ever done almond nails so i love them we're trying to train chanel to get used to other people come here chanel why is she so scared of people chanel come here come here come here <laughs> come hold me oh. yeah oh. 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 no crazy bitch no. No. <laughs> just like her mama hello good morning <laughs> It's like 12 p.m. Where's my day gone? I still have this backdrop up to remind me how horrible my makeup was yesterday. I'm gonna do my morning skincare routine and chat to you guys because I'm in one of those moods again. One of those moods where I just need a shoulder to cry on. I'm using my favorite toner of all time from Fresh. So yesterday, as you guys saw, I was in a horrific mood yesterday. It was one of those days where nothing went right. I think it was because I put so much pressure on myself to do like a really nice makeup because I was filming my acceptance speech honestly my makeup yesterday was so cakey there was fallout everywhere my eyeshadows have all smashed i honestly felt like i wanted to just wipe off my makeup and start crying and on top of that mercury retrograde is here and it's ruining our lives because grand just messaged me saying that there's something wrong with the car every time he goes over speed bumps he can hear like a, a clanking noise in the car and i'm like no this exact problem has happened to us before with our other car that we had before this and our exhaust pipe fell off. I'm gonna go and edit this 
because I am actually over the deadline. It was meant to be submitted yesterday. It's the day after and I still haven't submitted anything. I really wanted to cry yesterday when I was making my acceptance speech. Even just now talking about it, it makes me like really well up and I get like a frog in my throat and I get all choked up because never in a million years, you know, this girl filming from her bedroom Oh my god, I'm crying. I know I haven't won, but even just talking to the camera about what I would say if I did win, it made me like really well up. And even just think right now, I'm like this. Please press one to schedule a pickup. I am so two, sick of this automated quote, voice. Three, people call that FedEx, DHL, Royal Mail, UPS. I've called on everyone. Can you say that again? How much will the package cost? £28.95. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna bloody scream guys. I'm trying to get my charity bundle bags sent to you guys internationally and the shipping is so expensive that it's not even worth you guys ordering. This is so stressful guys, honestly. I'm gonna call more people, keep you guys updated. So I'm actually on a really cool Zoom meeting with Instagram today. They're doing a masterclass at the moment, teaching us about reels. This is actually going to go on for the next three days. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sunil Singhvi and I'm going to be your host today and probably for the next couple of days. Layla is going to actually be doing a panel talk, I think, with Instagram, which is so cool. I always feel so proud of my friends whenever they do fun stuff like this with amazing companies like Instagram. Hello. There she is. All the way in Dubai, guys. Guys, how crazy um, is the technology right now myself. that we are seeing uh, someone I'm live from I'm Dubai? So I'm trying to up. work over here and this guy is literally Quit. screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh, he's on a hill. If any girlfriends go through this problem, let me know in the comment section, please. Oh, let's do snipers, let's do snipers. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Guys, I pierced my ear. This is crazy, I was so scared to do it, but it wasn't that painful. Let's just close my eyes and put it through. And the needle was so sharp, like literally, it can cut a bitch up. So let me show you my new piercing. I've done my helix. The final design is gonna be cute, okay? My niece Rosie is here. And this girl, she loves playing with makeup. Look at this. Hello. Show them your outfit. Kiss. Is this one green? Oh, you like makeup? You gonna be a makeup artist? <laughs> oh, so nice. Oh, she wants more. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when you go for lip filler, you keep going back for more. Oh, she's going in for another colour now. Okay, you want another one? Wow! Oh, she wants to look at the mirror as well. How are kids so smart? Look! So you guys know I had thousands of these sunglass cases and I was like, what am I going to do with them? I have no idea. So my sister-in-law took them and there's a nurse that works with my sister-in-law for the NHS. She's like 60 years old and she has a school in Sri Lanka. And she was like, oh my God, these little cases will be so good for putting in school supplies for her school that she runs in Sri Lanka. And I'm like, oh, honestly, I felt like I was going to cry. I thought that was like the sweetest thing ever that these sunglasses case that I will literally have no use for and now they're going to be used as like pencil cases in Sri Lanka for underprivileged kids which just makes me feel so happy that I could be a part of that and could help in any way. Guys, guess what I just brought? It's an electric screwdriver! <laughs> I had so many people comment in my last vlog I just need to buy a drill but guys I have drills I have like two drills at home but they're always dead why is it whenever you need them you can't find the charger the battery is dead then you end up screwing everything by hand and then you end up with achy wrists and all my ladies know the feeling of giving hand jobs, <laughs> your wrists get achy, okay? But anyways, I literally went onto Amazon and I typed in electric screwdriver and this popped up. So cool, it comes with a little light and the most amazing thing is that it charges through a little USB. Even if this dies, you can still use it manually. Things will be so much easier. Thank God it's not big and bulky like a drill. Like, I get so intimidated with tools. This, I can get my head around, you know? It also comes with all of these different screwdriver heads. Anyways guys, it's the weekend, that means we have to clean up the house and we have to do all the recycling. Look at this behind me guys, all of this. I need to chat to you guys because honestly I feel like this week has been a little bit of a nightmare. Like I haven't vlogged much this week because I've been so stressed, I feel like I've grown like 10 million new grey hairs. The 
charity bundle bags was actually meant to go live this week i feel like a lot of pressure i don't know why i think it's because i have no one else to rely on like grand's gone back to work so when he comes home he's so fucking tired all the time just sleeping non-stop and he's really ill as well so you know when you're with someone that is like always tired it makes you tired it makes you feel like you ain't got another tag team buddy you know so i feel like i've got a lot of things on my shoulders right now i feel like my voice is breaking up i need to Hold it in, girl. I've been calling up on the phone non-stop this week. DHL, Royal Mail, DPD, UPS, FedEx. I've called up so many places and the shipping costs that I'm getting quoted is insane. So I've tried to get different quotes from all these different companies and I think I'm gonna go with DHL. They have something called DHL Express, which basically gets the package to you in like two or three working days. So please comment down below if you've had good experience with DHL. I feel like they have the most reliable service um everything's like tracked shipped signed it might be a little bit more expensive but not as expensive as fedex for example so i did look at hermes and a couple of like random other shipping companies honestly they just look so dodgy and i've had a really horrible experience with hermes so i would never go with them again even though they are more on the cheaper side but they're cheap for a reason i'm so sorry for everyone who's really hoping that the charity bundle bags will be available in today's vlog but i wasn't able to make it happen because people have been so slow like replying back to me and I didn't want to set anything up because I wanted to make sure to call up to find the cheapest shipping for you guys I've had to be passed through to all these different people and waiting for calls chasing up calls I feel like a failure guys Anyways, this week I'm dedicating myself to these charity bundle bags. I am going to lock down this international shipping and I feel like it will give me good training for the future when I get to launch my own brand one day. Just know that behind the scenes I'm really, really trying and I want to try to get the best shipping that I can for you guys. That's not going to cost you an arm or leg or that's not going to cost more than the package itself, you know. So yeah, that's it for this week's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for all your love, all your support. It means so much to me i've had a really really rough week this week it would really cheer me up if you left me some nice kind words in the comments i really really need to hear them out of all the other weeks this week has been really really tough so that's it for this video guys my sister's actually off to malta again tomorrow so she won't be able to help me this week when it comes to charity bundle bags but it's fine i'm a strong independent woman i can do it on my own that's it for this video guys i'll see you in my next one bye Oh my god, finally I can upload the video that me and Danny filmed ages ago, I feel like. And I just wasn't able to line up our schedules. We had so much technical issues and stuff. We did actually film a collab video. We filmed it on a weekend. I didn't get to vlog it because I normally end my vlogs on like a Friday morning. And we met each other on a Saturday. We have filmed the Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts challenge. And oh my god, it was so funny, so disgusting. And we also filmed a drunk whisper challenge video so much fun so make sure you are subscribed for wednesday's video because it is so juicy so disgusting you might even vomit along with us earlier on we was walking in my sister's like you've got bare wax in your ears and like she's trying to pick it with her fingers and it was like more flaking apart so when you suspect of saliva <laughs> This is how you know I'm a good sister. I'm barely like, picking out her earwax with my bare fingers. <laughs> Next week she's gonna get this pissed. <laughs> it's a man as well. <laughs> smell the fish. He got a steady hand though. <laughs> Guys, how annoying is this? So I got another analysis for this little piercing septum that I had. And apparently it's pierced bent. And I'm like, oh, it looks bent to me. Clearly my eyes also bent. <laughs> The daily struggle. What are we gonna eat today? Oh, I'm so annoyed. Honestly, this week has been driving me crazy. I just filmed a whole clip and it wasn't on the right settings. Ah, that means the mic wasn't working and stupid, stupid. Oh my God, I'm literally in the middle of do my makeup and I just looked to the side. I was like, what is that thing moving in the corner of my eye? Oh my God, look at this spider. This camera, oh my God, the zoom on this camera though. Oh, hello. Hello, ass twerk. Oh my God. Grang, help me please. I need saving from this monstrosity. Oh my God, it's crawling all over the blind. Don't touch me behind you, crazy bitch. Oh my God, you just jumped. You and your corona spider infested fingers. Oh. Ah! We have like bear, like, like bear, bear, bear. Let me see those lips. 
<laughs> guys, the mask laugh. They look sexy. Oh, guys, I'm so much pain. I literally was like, oh, my ear is so itchy. So I literally jabbed my finger through my ear and I totally forgot I just got a new piercing. So now my ear is like ringing, like it has its own heartbeat. It's got a pulse. I'm going to play a prank on Grant and pretend I'm crying to see what he's going to do to comfort me. I need to hide you guys. Dead. Are you lying? <laughs> Hello, camera. <laughs> How are we gonna be a prank channel now? How are we gonna get millions of views? How are we gonna go viral? Tell by your fake Christ, you idiot. How are we gonna get on the trending page if you don't play along with the joke? Jesus Christ, do you know what I mean? 